And then being out there and then knowing both sides. Because I knew Baby Lane and them too. Really? Yeah. You knew Orlando Anderson? Yeah. I mean, I used to do the Wayne's Brothers show. I used to get off set and I'll be in the south side of Compton. I mean, I, a lot of my decisions is what kind of like hurt me along the line. But what were you doing in south side Compton? Shit, the same shit I would be doing in Newark, chilling with people that I'm familiar with. Everybody up in, on Sunset and Gower was acting even after the cameras were I'm like, when do they start pretending I can't get this shit? Me being from the East Coast, coming to the West Coast, like everybody is larger than life. Hmm. Uh, and when I, would, when, I would, when I would get off the, I think it was the 91 freeway and hit Greenleaf, and uh, go by my man Corey Howe, uh, and that's how I met all of them. Keefe D, all I know them all, you know. And then also met them through, you know, I was with Widespread Records, and as you know, uh, uh, PJ's company. So I, I knew a lot of them from him. And at the time with him, he was he was in doing Fed time. But these is all his people. Yeah, okay, well, I got Jermaine out here working on the album, this, that, and the other. Y'all look out for him. I could be out in a supermarket somewhere and somebody walk up to me like, yo, what's good, man? I'm such and such and such. Take my number down. You need anything, let me know, man. I'm Patrick, boy. You know, Cool told me you was out here. You know, and, 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 and that type. So, I, I mean, when I was in con, I was, it was a, a safe haven, damn it, for me. Like, it was okay. kind of familiar, you know? Well, so... Did you talk to Orlando Anderson after the Tupac shooting? No. No, my contact with, uh, with, with, with Orlando was way prior to this, before the even beef with them. I didn't even realize it was a beef until after everything was over with. Uh, because, like I said, I was doing the Wayne's Brothers show, so this was, this was a little time before, hmm. you know, uh, uh, the incident. But, yeah, I was familiar with him, his uncle, and, you know, I mean, but knowing him, like, Coming up with him, no, I'm knowing them from being around the people that I was yeah. around. Yeah, man. This yeah. is a very, very convoluted story with a lot of dimensions to it. Mm -hmm. I always say, man, you be everywhere, man. You know everybody. Yeah, well, man, God is good. <laughs> well, I mean, you also, you also did Strapped. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I interviewed Chiali before. Yeah. You know, very kind of ironic kind of. You know, situation. He ends up getting killed mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and, and strapped yep. like in the first couple of minutes. First couple of minutes, right? <laughs> you know, he, he ended up killing his uh, his baby mother's boyfriend. Boyfriend. Uh, you know, which we talked about on camera. He basically told me like, I was dead, and he ended up telling me you could suck my dick over the phone. Over the phone. I go to the avenue like it's, if you know Thrall Tank, it's one 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 like strip on uh, what is that Dewey? It was Dewey, right? Yeah, and I go to Dewey because I know he's always out there. That's where he hustles at. When I, so I see him on Dewey. Um, we exchange a few words. You know, he's talking some gangster shit. I'm talking some gangster shit. Did, did he did he threaten you at that point? Um, it happened so fast. I don't know that he threatened me. You know, he turned around and just was talking shit. Like when I ran up on him, he was like, "What? Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah you know." I backed out and clapped him. I remember running, leaving the scene. I remember getting rid of the gun. And I remember thinking, damn, damn, like, yeah, I fucked my life up. You know, you were also on Fat Beach. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was my crossover. You'd be surprised, man, how many people are in the beach movies, man. You know, I was in, hey, when Fat Beach came out, I was up in New York doing something, man. And I stopped at, you know, the little newsstands they used to have on the street. It was built like a little garage almost. Type. It was like green. They would be on the corner of the newsstands out here. I don't know if they still got them. And I haven't seen one in a while. I'm sure it takes up too much room. But uh, it was an Indian guy in there. And I walk up to get something. He say, holy shit, man. Yo, Fat Beach. Did he? <laughs> I said, oh shit. I was like, oh yeah, you know. He was like, yeah, man, give me your autograph. You know, I was back when people was asking for autographs. That is just what a picture. But yeah, that, that movie really took me, took me to 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 different levels. When I first when I first uh read the script, I was like, 
I don't know. This is going to be some bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, you know what? But I could use a check right now. And this shit is about me. They say they wrote it for me. Let's go on out here and get it done. And I'm doing it on, on in Venice Beach, California. Shit. Hell yeah. Let's go. I mean, you also, you also were in How to Be a Player. Yeah, How to Be a Player was fun. That was, uh, it was a cool movie. Russell Simmons, yep. uh, Bill Bellamy, Bill Bellamy. Little yep. Devil, uh, working with uh, the late God Rest His Soul, uh, Bernie Mac. Me and Bernie got super cool, like, cause he we did that, and me and Bernie walked worked together also on the Wayne's Brothers show. Mm -hmm. I was doing the Wayne's Brothers show and How to Be a Player at the same time, mm. uh, uh, filming uh, uh, and rehearsing. Uh, on the lot for the Wayne's Brothers and then leaving that going to the set for uh, How to Be a Player. Uh, and uh, just that whole, it was two different characters, you know what I mean? So just that whole little transformation. But when Bernie came to work on the Wayne's Brothers show, man, you know, he was trying to teach me how to play golf. Bernie had this little golf game. You know, and uh, he was trying to show me the difference between the iron and what the wood is used for and stuff like that, man. And those moments like that, I, I, I never forget. And them some of the most memorable, you know, moments uh, that I had, you know, with Bernie. Uh, and back to Strap, man, like, I know we just mentioned it, but we can't just mention Strap. That was Forrest Whitaker's first debut, director, directorial debut. Right. Also, the first time we were introduced to Bo King Woodbine. Aha, uh -huh, uh, right. Oh, that was and, his first role. Right. right. And that was the first time we got to see uh, Fredro Starr. I, I interviewed Fredro in Starr uh, right. about that role. The acting started before the album came out. Really? Because I was doing Strap, the uh -huh. movie Strap with Bo King. Can't go into the studio. I was right. doing that, and then going to the studio recording the first album. Aha. Uh -huh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because the first album took like two years to make. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, um, and the album was the score to fucking Strapped. That's how we uh -huh. we, we cross marketed it. She Jay Forrest was Whitaker's Jay was thinking Jay was like debut. Jay was like yo let's put a lot of the songs in the movie. All of them. He was the movie. Uh, I think he was the, the executive, executive supervisor. So, but the movie came out after the album, right? Yeah. Because I remember yeah, yeah, when yeah, it came yeah, out, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's no, it came that's, out that's after Fred the Drove album. From, from Onyx, but, yeah. but but it was done before the album. It was album. done before. It was okay. done simultaneously. And right. uh, yeah, he he killed it. Every, everybody killed, killed it, it actually. He killed it. Everybody killed it. Yo Yo was in the movie as Yo my Yo's. girlfriend. Yep. Uh, so that 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 was a that was a great experience, you know, a great experience.